In this devlog, I'm going to talk about the quest types. So each quest type is its own mini game, and I have most of these done, but I will run through them anyway. Um, the first type we have is a hunting quest. This is the standard uh, run in and beat up the monsters. Um, I'm using a mid-game level team, so all these quest types are tuned for well mid-game. So it's like average difficulty and whatnot. <clears throat> My team is should be sufficiently equipped and handle all, all these quests without problem. Uh, this the hunting quest. All you do is you sit and watch, and you hope that your team is geared and can handle themselves against a group of monsters. I have the one monster type because that's all I have done. Yay, we won, and we got some re rewards. The rewards are tuned for each uh, quest type. Um, next is the gathering quest. Uh, on this one, you want to have a rogue, because what the rogue will do... You're invading a monster nest, and you are stealing eggs from them. So what the rogue does, once we get started here... If you watch this rogue, she will disappear off screen. And uh, meanwhile, the rest of the team will be beating up the monster. The monster has infinite life, and look at that. When you get knocked down, an egg flies across the screen. And if you were watching this rogue, you will see that she disappeared off screen to go steal an egg. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Click. All you gotta do is you gotta click the eggs. It's a uh, reaction based mini game. Easy enough, right? Should be, if you're geared well enough. It's easier with a rogue because the eggs from the rogue are easier to click on. I'm gonna swap back. So, uh, next is the mining quest. This is a uh, match puzzle. You match two of the uh, icons together and they will clear. When they clear, um, you can kind of see that someone got hurt and uh, people only get hurt when you clear tiles. So this type of quest, it's geared, or it's, uh, it's best to have uh, characters that are knights because knights are going to have strong defense. So let me go ahead and click through here. You just click the pairs, easy. Uh, whenever, oops, someone fainted in the background here. So, the, uh, uh where'd, where'd that match go? Okay. Cool, I get to think and talk. This isn't hard at all. I can only do one thing at a time, so this is exceedingly difficult. Especially with puzzles. <laughs> I will click this, and then, you know what? I could match, I could match those, but I'm not going to. So, the angle is... Um, in order for a tile to match, say I wanted to match this one and this one, it's not going to work because the path is going to go out and turn one, turn two. Oh no, can't do three turns. You can only do two turns. And that's why that one won't clear. Same with this one. There's also this border around the board, which uh, allows uh, paths to go um, uh, outside the playing area. Then also there's a, this shuffle button, but uh-oh, if you click it, someone's going to faint immediately. I don't know, my, uh, my knight fainted, that's not good. But it allows me to shuffle the board and clear tiles, and you see this did one, two, and was able to uh, clear those two tiles. Now, this isn't looking good for my team though, because since I shuffled my knight out of existence, and all that's left is my healer, this quest is going to be failed. Uh-oh. See, I shouldn't have shuffled because my knight got knocked out. But that's uh, essentially how this uh, game mode works. And uh, since I failed the quest, it's still there. So next we have the adoption, but I'm going to skip that for now. And then uh, the capture, I'm also going to skip that. So harvesting. Harvesting is you have a basket and uh, watch everyone's life because as everyone works they're gonna have their life drain so this type of quest is best if you have healers 
and I'm going to catch these apples and uh oh I catch some bad fruit whenever you capture or <laughs> whenever you catch bad fruit um, it'll uh, hurt your someone of your party a little bit but if you miss one completely uh oh you saw that ow someone got knocked out uh oh I don't know my people are getting knocked out that's not good um this doesn't look good for me I'm gonna fail this too yeah that's what I get for talking so yeah you capture the fruit in the basket you avoid the bad fruit and you make sure the good fruit doesn't fall to the ground that's it with a good group of healers you can heal through your mistakes so those are the game modes which I completed the mechanics for of course the uh, the game assets I need to go through and redo and make better and that leads us to the adoption quest this one is almost done so um, hopefully it works so I have a game board oh, I'm showing debug info ignore the debug info well I guess you can't ignore the debug info because it's in your face now so this is a slide match a minimum of three uh, type of puzzle and whenever you match you'll see these cats they run to people and they start aggressively attacking the people and uh, the people uh, need to tame the cats by attacking them it's um it's humane in this world right so this type of quest it's best if you have uh, fighters because they're going to have the highest attack stat and let me clear some of these out uh it's kind of hard to play this with debug info on but um yeah because there's still some bugs in it uh the functionality in this is maybe what 75 i don't know it's mostly there um i have a bug where uh as tiles fall then they keep kind of falling and the and the uh the tiles don't really match what the actual grid is that's why i have all the debug numbers showing um yeah so uh, you can see my fighter here she doesn't have any cats on her but the other people they don't have very high attack stats so they're being mobbed by cats and uh if I can clear a few more of these I shall click randomly here this is probably not how to play but whatever I'm speed running this game mode cool so um, with the uh, more cats coming you'll see some animation change this 400 you see up here that's a temporary number that's not the actual number all right so this person up here is uh overwhelmed and so she's taking damage i know you can't see it because well i'm still working on making this look good it's not quite there yet but when she faints all the cats that are on her are going to spread to other people and there they go so this game mode is meant to be kind of chaotic so a bunch ran over here and here and here and uh to everyone else so her burden uh oh yeah so now these people are overwhelmed and they're crying but the fighter the fighters holding out am I actually going to pass this one probably not because there's no way I'm gonna clear 400 tiles we're just gonna play until everyone gets knocked out <laughs> and random clicking yeah oh all right they're all going for the fighter now it's almost game over so the cats and the uh, damage math and processing don't happen until you actually do the click so my fighter's overwhelmed she's crying and uh, she took some damage and so um, I don't like time to base mini games and uh, it's too much pressure I like to sit and think so that's how I've tuned all these so I'm gonna when I click on this watch her life boom yeah now she got knocked out she fainted and I, I lost this one too amazing right okay then the last game mode this one is what like 50% complete um, it's gonna be hard to show uh, so I'll explain the concept so the character runs in and there's an enemy who gets kind of woken up and we got to do well what the character has to do is run across the screen and catch the monster 
I'll go ahead and start it. So when someone runs in, they cast a, a skill, then they start running. And what's going to happen is uh, obstacles are going to scroll in from the right side of the screen. And there's going to be a button for you to jump. All you got to do is click to jump. And um, this one is tuned for agility type characters. So what I'm thinking is agility type characters, whenever they hit an obstacle, um, they'll take a little bit of damage, but then they'll automatically jump. And all the other character types, if they hit an obstacle, well, they're just going to get stuck on the obstacle and scroll off the side of the screen. If uh, you don't click the jump button fast enough, then if they scroll off the screen, well, they're fainted and the next person comes in. So with a full team of five, that essentially gives you five chances. Or five lives? I don't know. But anyway. So yeah, I caught the, uh, I caught the goblin. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is the quest rewards themselves. So off capture quests, they tend to reward equipment. And then um, vegetables are harvesting. Uh, that's how you get food. And of course food. You know what? Let me exit out of here. So uh, with food, use that to level up your characters. I'm going to click here. And uh, um, as you level up characters, it takes more food to level them up. Um, I got some injuries here because, uh, yeah, I failed some minigames. But I'm not going to talk about this mechanic because I'm just talking about minigames. And that is all the minigames. Isn't that cool? Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, usually I leave this uh, running a battle, don't I? You know what? I'm going to put it back on here. All right. So for my outro, I'm going to try and catch some food. I'm going to try and actually play right this time. <clears throat> so if you like this video or if you like the if you're watching this video please like and even better please subscribe and even better than that if you join the discord uh you can view the link and download and actually play this game yourself as well as participate with uh, uh development progress you can talk about the game and uh development and if you have some uh, questions, comments, or concerns about the game itself, then uh, that would be the place for me to see it. Come on. I can win. I can do this. Alright. I'm gonna do it. One more. Yay. I did it. But I did miss one, so someone fainted. Awesome. So this is what happens when you successfully catch it. Yay. And the quest rewards, look at all this food I got. A bunch of food. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Bye.